whole other people. And his uh, more information comes out about about this Paris shooting. You know, I'm really kind of questioning it, and especially the response to it and how much it's been talked about and hyped in the mainstream media. It really leads me to question this video. Now, now I want to talk about this aspect of this video, and I think I might make another video in the future. Not like in a month or something, but pretty soon about whether this was a false flag or not. Whether it was done by the government, whether the government was involved in it. So, um, but first I want to talk about this. France sends out 10,000 troops. I mean, you just search into, I just searched into Google, or actually Yahoo. I got, for some fucking reason, I got Yahoo as my search engine. I got to change that. But, uh, Google's better, um. But anyway, I put 10,000 troops into Yahoo, and I mean, you could just go through the list. I mean, Washington Post, France sends 10,000 troops across the country, BBC, uh, Reuters. So, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I just wanted to show you that it actually happened. But anyway, they send 10,000 troops out, and this is what, you know, this is the, the, the fucking thing that happens after these terrorist attacks. The government says, oh, we're going to protect you. You know, when an attack happens, when a tragedy happens, whether it's legit or, or if it's government run, government involved, get ready to have your rights taken away. Get ready, people. Um, whether it be here or in another developed country, just get ready. All right? Because it's Rahm Emanuel who said, um, uh, what do you say? Don't let a crisis go to waste. Meaning, let's use these crises, crises, whatever, to further our political agendas. So now we got cops, or not even cops, it's like military, walking the streets in France. Yeah, what a, you know, what a great sight that is. Ten thousand troops walking in 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 France, walking the streets. So uh, there you go, people. Welcome to the police state. And these, of course, these French people. Think how many people died. How many people died? Seventeen people died. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna give up our rights. We're gonna start a police state for what? Seventeen people. Yet, we get fucking, you know, hundreds of people killed by, you know, lightning strikes, 30,000 via car accidents. I mean, honeybees kill more people in America, uh, in America than terrorists do. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. You know, terrorists kill a few people each year, usually in develop, developed nations. When you, when you talk about third world countries, terrorists are probably more pre prevalent you know, uh, pre prevalent there, but if you're talking a third, you know, a, a first world, you know, like a developed nation like America, Britain, France, you don't hear about too many terrorist attacks, and 17 people died, so what are we going to do, let's give up all our rights, let's just, you know, lay down to the government, bend over, and let it put us, you know, I won't get into details, but you get what I'm trying to say here, um, you know, these French people probably are just uh, just like we were after 9-11, where we're like, take away our civil rights, or our, our civil liberties, take them away, take them all away, just protect us from these terrorists. Uh. But even if you look at 2001, still, 30,000 die via cars approximately, it's probably differs every year, 3,000 die via terrorists. Yeah, what are we more afraid of? We're more afraid of the terrorist than... We, th than uh, the the uh, fucking cars, you know, people will drive in cars, they'll text in cars, they'll drink, but they won't, you know, they eat food, they won't pay attention, but they will not be afraid for some reason. Oh, but terror, oh, let's be afraid of terrorists, give up our rights, you know, have, have fucking TSA sexually assault us. And this is just another example. This is, this is what they do. They, they'll stage an event or they'll, or they'll let, let, let an event happen. I mean, look at throughout history, whether it be Hitler with the Reichstag fire, um, Nero with the burning of, uh, of Rome. I mean, America's been famous for numerous lies to get us in the wars. It's false flags and lies about certain events have been used throughout history to further uh, pl pl the political agendas of certain leaders. It's, it's been documented. So these French people are probably just going to lay down Say, yeah, you know, let's put troops on the street and have them patrol every single area so we so we can make sure that, that, that there's no Al-Qaeda here or no ISIS, whatever. So they, uh, that's what's going to happen, people. And then we're probably going to go off to another 10, 15-year war on ISIS. 
you know, trillion dollars to make Dick Cheney rich and all the military industrial complex, take away our rights, probably stage another attack here in America, you know, take away our rights, as I said, and everybody's just going to fucking lay down and say, yeah, put it in our asses, government, you know, just take away all our rights, just let's make sure there's no Al-Qaeda, you know, you, you could fucking sexually assault me at the airport, you could fucking jerk me off, do all whatever you want, just make sure that, that I don't have a bomb on me, you know, I don't care about the Fourth Amendment, I don't care that the Fourth Amendment says reasonable search and seizure, you know, yeah, you know, you're going through an airport, what, what are the chances you're a terrorist, like one in a million? Yeah, that's reasonable. You know, that's, that's reasonable to search. That's, you know, that's, that's great logic right there. That's, that's some great logic. You know, probably, they'll probably pass another Patriot Act. Uh, you know, you know, it's just probably going to happen. Uh, the way that I see this going, I mean, the French people are going through it right now. It's just fucking, and you know, they're doing these terrorist marches too, which are totally retarded. I mean, I, I know they have good intentions and all. But realize the fact that we fund, the, that's what we should be marching about. The fact that America and its allies fund terrorism. That's what we should be marching about. Not about dead, dead people. Because, uh, yeah, dead people is bad and all. I mean, yeah, I have a march about them, whatever. But at the same time, I shouldn't have said don't march for dead people. I mean, you could have ceremonies, whatever, for dead people. But at the same time, let's realize that America is the one who funds these terrorists in the first place on purpose. You know, you think we just drop loads of, of supplies to ISIS on accident over and over again? I mean, we fund the so-called moderate rebels in Syria who are actually ISIS, according to retired Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer. And you could go in all... Uh, you know, foreign media reports that ISIS works with the moderate rebels. If foreign media is also reporting that John McCain met with ISIS, I mean, it's pretty open. I mean, I got I showed mainstream media documents numerous times, mainstream media articles numerous times that say we fund Al Qaeda, we fund the Taliban, we fund ISIS, our allies fund ISIS, whatever. So uh, it's it, that's what we should be marching about: the fact that we are the ones who are funding these terrorists so then we could go out and fight them and then take away our rights to to further the new world order so you guys just gotta wake up there over in france and uh you know you think you're all safe right now you know you got the government you know probably because you know you know let's just let them into our house you know let's let them into my house right here you know let's let in american troops you know ten american troops could stand at my bedside and watch me sleep in my boxers or whatever you know, but uh, I just don't want to make sure that Al-Qaeda comes in and attacks me. Oh, my, you know, I don't want to be one of those two people killed by terrorists each year. Oh, but, you know, let them come in, you know, let them watch me take a shower, man. You know, I don't, I don't want to be attacked by ISIS. I don't want to be bombed. I don't want ISIS in my house. Oh, you know, oh, come in, come in, you know, watch me take a shower. You can even watch me get changed, you know, watch me jerk off, watch me do everything. Just make sure that ISIS isn't here, people. You know, that they, that they could put you in a fucking, you know, if they really wanted to keep you safe, they could put you in a fucking styrofoam box. Yeah, but that wouldn't, you wouldn't be free. You know, you could have so-called security. This is what Benjamin Franklin said. We should not exchange security. We should not exchange freedom for security because then you will get neither. And he's right. Whenever governments, you know, try to institute a police state, try to institute a tyrannical regime, you know, for to so-called protect their citizens, it ends up being a tyrannical police state, like Hitler, you know, Stalin, Mao, do I have to go on? And that's exactly what they're trying to do here in America. Stage a bunch of attacks, or, you know, at least fund terrorists to attack, and then we're going to have our rights taken away. And then people are going to, oh, we love the, you know, your, your typical Republican out there, your typical neoconservative like Sean Hannity or Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, we love the TSA. We love the police state. We need them to protect us from these terrorists that we fought in the first place. Yeah, let's, let's just throw away our Constitution. Uh, and only we'll use the Constitution when it backs up our points. But, you know, it's all right if we have police and, you know, a police state that, def that, that violates the Fourth Amendment. Why? 
because it's for the terrorists who only kill a few people a year. You know, let's, let's have a police state for them. You know, we're going to let these terrorists change their whole lives. And, and this, I quoted this on my channel a lot of times, a good amount of times. You know, I've heard Jesse Ventura say, George Bush said the terrorists attacked us because they're jealous of our freedoms, which is probably bullshit. I mean, it's, it's, it's an inside job, clearly. But um, uh, if, if that's true, then the terrorists have won. I mean, we, we sit up here like we're, you know, like we've defeated them because another attack hasn't happened or because we just went out to war with them for 12 years and we so-called defeated them. You know, it's the same thing George Bush said with Iraq on that ship. And the war dragged on way longer. So, um, yeah, you know, people think, oh, we beat the terrorists. No, people, we have not beat the terrorists. We have lost, dramatically, we have lost our freedoms, our rights. The Fourth Amendment is down the drain. The First Amendment is pretty much down the drain. <clears throat> I mean, you still got a good amount of the First Amendment, but still, there's still a lot of times the First Amendment is restricted. And also, they're, they're going after the Second Amendment now, so get ready for that. They've already taken away the Fourth. That's that's pretty much out of, you know, that's down the toilet, right? That's that's fucking, you know, it's, that, that's fucking, you know, you, there's no hope in really getting that one back. I mean, that one's gone for a while. And then the First Amendment, that one's being taken down right now, and then they'll probably go after the Second Amendment, too. They'll probably, you know, again, stage another attack and say, oh, we got to take away the guns. So there you go, people. I'm going to wrap this video up. I felt like I've talked enough about just the importance of promoting freedom. And again, if these terrorists are so-called real terrorists, uh, if, we, if we let them change our country, then it's just going to entice them to attack more, and that's going to give them victory. The answer to, to combat terrorism is freedom. More freedom. The Second Amendment. That's the answer to combat terrorism, people. <clears throat> All right, you can't, you know, just because a few people die because of terrorism, which is a bad thing, but just because it happens does not mean we have to change our whole country and way of life. So I just wanted to make this video to stress the importance of always keeping our freedoms and our constitutional rights, even in the times of, you know, terrorism, uh, you know, this fake threat of terrorism. We have to not <coughs> um, lay down to these terrorists. We have to. And we also have to look for government being involved in these terrorist events. That's very important, too. And again, I'll probably make another video on that about this whole situation and whatever. But there you go, people. There's kind of my video there on, on how we should not, just like Benjamin Franklin said, not exchange freedom for so-called security. So there you go, people.